All right, guys, this is the last video. Uh, we're getting a lot of wind, and I was going to do this tomorrow morning, but I'm not sure I'm going to have power. The, the winds are kind of, yeah, they're uh, whipping up here. But um, I'm only going to link below to these videos. Wilmington, Wilmington, where, you know, Wilmington is another Houston. And the surrounding area of Wilmington, like um, Calabash. And I just got another comment from a subscriber that lives in Calabash. Let me turn off the tornado warnings. And Calabash is right here, right down here. And she has said that. It's nonstop, the rain and the flooding. Um, you also have the extremely low frequencies being set off. I believe uh, it's north of Little River. No, I haven't gone to check exactly where it is. But this thing is sitting over Wilmington. And Wilmington. I don't want anybody to think that I think that this entire thing has been an utter lie. And I'm seeing some comments that they don't preface their comments with, generally speaking, what we've heard is that this hurricane, it's an utter lie. Generally speaking, there are areas that are getting an awful lot of damage. And Wilmington is one of them. So... I will link below to these videos that that show what what's the damage mostly the trees and I said in the first hurricane Florence video I posted we're gonna see a lot of trees coming down well guess what Wilmington has had an awful lot of trees that have come down on cars on homes and it's causing an awful lot of destruction. But I do want you to hear this. Alright guys, I don't think I've ever wanted to get daylight so quick in my life as I do right now. We got about four or five minutes to daylight. The car was going out everywhere. The sky is lighting up. All tons of tons of I don't know how many transformers have been exploding. Look there's another one. Oh look the whole sky just turned blue and green. The whole sky just turned blue and green. Well, do you think they're using frequencies? Finding a North Carolinian who is not going to be affected by this storm. We don't know the magnitude yet. He said, I don't believe a North Carolinian will not be affected by the storm. I played that just to let you hear again what the reporting was like before the storm hit. All of North Carolina, all of Virginia, all of South Carolina was going to be impacted with feet, three feet of water. So to those who have been impacted, I am just so sorry. I am so sorry. You know, the the trees and there has been flooding. And They don't have long, they don't have strong roots anymore. Here, seven minutes, they drive through this neighborhood and you will see the amount of trees that have just toppled down. I'm actually surprised that there weren't more trees that came down, but there might be because that storm is sitting over Wilmington, but looting also in Wilmington. Yes, now. Go. You're up, you're up. 
Go ahead, hey guys, Coach. look, we can see what looks like a potential uh, looting situation here at the Family Dollar on Greensfield Street. Actually just saw a bunch of people coming out in masks. Kristen, if you can pan over here, this is the Houston Moore Complex on Greenfield Street. You can see here people coming out with items left and right, oh looting the Family Dollar here on Greenfield Street. You can see inside just a complete mess. People taking duffel bags and trash bags. Now noticing that we're here running away from the camera. You can see people inside here, people with uh, t-shirts over their heads, coming out with bags of items. You can see these people across the street in masks. This is an ongoing situation. Looks like the police are here now. People wearing Halloween masks, looting the family dollar here on Greenfield Street. Looks like people are coming out of the back edge, back side right now. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, they're coming out of the back side of the store here. This is 13th and Greenfield. We're going to stay with this situation. All right, you can click on the link below to watch. You know, I... I The mayor of Wilmington said the power will probably be out for weeks in Wilmington. Storm damage, mostly trees, and some flooding. I am. Um, I include this because I think it's cute. Okay. Well, it's a Wilmington, uh, a Wilmington damage video. I, I wanted to post this video just to say to everybody that we really do need to be very careful in terms of what we say, the comments that we leave. You know, for people who are, you know, having to you know, live through power outages. And some subscribers have left me comments saying that it's been days already. They still don't have power. Um, even if there's home, their homes are not flooded, that causes an awful lot of stress to those who are dealing with, you know, trees down and, and flooded homes. When they do come across videos or comments from people who are saying the whole thing is a lie, the whole thing is a hoax, that is, you know, that hurts when they're having to suffer the consequences of this. So if you leave the comments, just make sure that you're careful in terms of saying, generally speaking, um, because there has been an awful lot of damage. It's isolated. There are a tremendous amount of tornado warnings, and I don't even think that they're tornadoes, really. I, I think that they're um, the microbursts, because tornadoes would leave a path of destruction. I don't, I've gone through these videos, I've watched them, I don't see any path of destruction. You know, I see a tree down here, a tree down there, um, but no, no tornado path. Anyway, I also want to, if you want to watch live, 24-7 live news on Wilmington, I will link below to this site. 
I also want to remind everybody, America 2050, and well, the Piedmont Atlantic mega region right here, the gray, will be the area where it, no human beings will be living. They'll be living in their mega regions. Funny how these, you know, hurricanes are sitting over, you know, areas that they want the people out. Nobody knows, nobody knows exactly, you know, what their reasons are for bringing all of this destruction. We certainly know they want to depopulate. We know that they're reshaping the United States, bringing about these hurricanes that cause a lot of destruction in the areas that they want people out of. Well, that's a good way to do it, to get people to move. And perhaps this hurricane just failed on them. You know, I'm now out of the cone. I hope I'm still out of that cone. Um, wrong one. Okay. No, shoot. I'm back in it. No. Just outside now. But we're getting very high winds. So, who knows? You know, even though they have the technology and... You know, they can, um, they can steer these storms with uh, a whole lot of precision. You know, we don't know what's going on exactly. And this storm clearly did not manifest the way it was reported. So was it? You know, a failure in the entire uh, the entirety, and not a failure for Wilmington, perhaps, perhaps. But you still see the frequencies, you know, going through this storm. I'm so sorry to to you and Calabash having to uh, suffer through what you're suffering through. through. To all those affected, my heart goes out to you. And here you have the extremely low frequencies being set off from Colombia, as they normally are uh, from Colombia. And can we see them from Greer? South Carolina. Yeah. Right here. Oops, sorry. Right here. Let's just take a quick look at the uh, national mosaic. Let's see what's going on. Not the entire country. I don't, I can't, I'm too tired and I don't want to get stuck on every state. But wow, well, we sure do have an awful lot of these extremely low frequencies being set off from Canada, Maine, Long Island, Massachusetts, New York. Yeah. Extremely low frequencies, they can use them for modification of storms. And we've got a beam, a laser type beam, or it could be an extremely low frequency coming out of Atlanta, Georgia. All of these very defined lines that you see jutting out in a fan like fashion. Those are extremely low frequencies.
Wow. So, this frequency shot. Well, I've seen this before. Going right into upstate South Carolina, very close to where I lived. That coming out of Georgia. All of it used uh, to modify these storms. And if you want to leave comments, you guys, in this storm's path, um, please do let us know what's happening in your area. These are pretty intense frequencies coming out of uh, Florida. And yeah, well, Houston, uh, I was told that the governor of Texas, before a storm, I'm not sure if the storm is hitting yet, but he declared state of emergency before the storm hit. Amazing how that happens now. Everything happens before the storm hits. So, we have an awful lot going on, guys. I hope everybody stay safe. I hope those who are suffering the consequences of this don't have to suffer too long.